Hello and welcome to the Insecure Chef. I'm here with Regina today on this beautiful summer day. Today's July 2nd, a couple of days away from the 4th of July. Happy birthday to our country. And uh, today we're doing uh, shrimp franchise. Um, wasn't my idea, it was Regina's idea. Unfortunately, she can't eat it, but it was kind of her too. It used to be my favorite. It used to be her favorite. Matter of fact, it is still her favorite, but she can't eat it. But anyway, what can I say? So, we're going to be starting with jumbo shrimp. If you look down here, I've already uh, taken care of, already cleaned, deshelled, and deveined a bunch of them. I left one. I've also butterflied them. This shrimp is already clean. I'm just going to show you how I butterflied it, just so they become a little thinner and a little simpler to cook. I'm just going to cut down into here. You're cutting it down, not that it goes all the way through. You don't want to separate the shrimp, but you want it to be able to open up kind of like that. Okay? So that's it. I did that to all of those shrimp right there. All right. What we're going to be doing is we're going to go from flour uh, to egg, and uh, I'm going to season the flour right now. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a fresh lemon, and I'm going to do a little, uh, little zesting of it. You know, when you zest... You don't want to go all the way down to the pit. That's the white stuff that's there because that's bitter. So you just kind of work your way around. This is just your medium-sized lemon. And you can see it forming right there. You don't want to go too crazy. That should be good. I'm going to guess that's probably about, oh, a half a teaspoon maybe. Now, if you truly do like um, lemon, you can certainly go more. Fresh lemon has got quite a nice uh, yeah. fragrance to it. Smells it, good. Right? Maybe I'll just give it a tad more. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. Get that in there. Besides, I'm going to be adding a little bit more lemon in a different format. I'm going to be taking the lemon pepper. If you don't have that, you can just use pepper, regular pepper. And I'm going to be putting in, oh, I'm going to guess about a quarter of a teaspoon, kind of like this. You can see the peppers in there already. And then I'm just gonna give it a nice dab of salt, about a half a teaspoon. And then I'm gonna just mix this all up. And um, you know, if you say, well, gee, Al, I wish it was a, a little bit more specific. The truth of the matter is, it's gonna taste great. It just comes down to how lemony and how peppery you like things. So you, it's hard for me to give you firm directions on that. But what you saw me just put in here is very pleasant for my palate, so maybe you want to start there. All right, so that's mixed up very nicely. In the meantime, I've got um, about four tablespoons or so of uh, EVO, extra virgin olive oil, heating up. We don't want to get this too hot. This is not a real high, hot dish, so we're just kind of warming that up, just enough so that we can basically saute the uh, shrimp and eventually the sauce. All right, so what I'm going to take from here right now is I'm going to take these shrimp and I'm going to uh, dip them in flour, get them nice and floury. You see like that. Again, because they're butterfly, make sure you get them inside like that. I'm going to take that that way. Get them all mixed in there. Now I've got a bunch here, probably a little more than you might normally do for one person, but I was down to just a few left over and I realized, eh, you know, what am I going to do with just a couple? So, with that said, get that nice and coated. The All right. oil is smoking. Ah, uh, thank you, my love. <laughs> I'm going to lower that down. Yeah. Gina pointed out the oil was smoking. We don't want to get that too hot. All right, if you still see it smoking, let me know. <laughs> a little bit. Well, that's going to happen. Yeah, I'm just I know. Gonna put on my, uh, I'm just going to put on my oven there. All right, so now we're going to take these, and we're just going to put them in the egg. You want them completely covered in the egg. All right. Do a couple at a time like that. Get them a nice coating. So that you see the flour has definitely met the egg. Like that. All right, now we're gonna take those out and put them back here on the side for the moment. All right, we're doing good here. How's my oil doing, Dick? Did yes, it calm I'm down? <laughs> well, yeah, it did. Okay. All right, now I'll get the rest of the shrimp back in here. Like so. Get that a nice coating again as well. Make sure you get the inside, that butterfly seam there. Alrighty, when you got a nice coating there, move them back. Okay. Alright, the shrimp are now coated. Just gonna do a quick rinse of my hands. Like 
back. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna move these shrimp over to here and we're gonna start the, uh, the process of cooking them. So, Gina's gonna move over and uh, we're gonna start adding them here to the oil. And like I said, it shouldn't go too crazy. And what you want to do now is you don't want to bother them for a little bit. You want that egg to begin to set before you before you flip them over, because you don't want to lose that egg coating that's on there. So we're going to let that cook a little bit. Yeah, sorry about that fan. Okay, about ready to flip now at this point. Yeah, that looks good. That will ensure that the batter, you know, stayed on the back of the shrimp. You don't want it sticking to the pan. Just turning those over now. Always one in the crowd. I'm going to keep my eye on the heat. Again, you're not working too hot here. All right, I'm going to follow this up now with um, two tablespoons of butter. It's going to go in there. Let that butter melt down. Should be looking good, haven't it? Oh, beautiful. Okay, the butter's working its way down. We're going to follow this up now with garlic and white wine. If you don't use wine, you can use white grape juice. If you don't have any of that, you can either add uh, chicken stock or um, fish stock or, at worst, water. Or, you know what, you can leave it out. It's all going to come down to the consistency of the final sauce anyway, so it's really up to you. But obviously, the more flavorful material you can put in the sauce, the better it'll be. All right, that's looking good. So now we're going to just put a little touch of uh, garlic. I'm only putting a quarter of a teaspoon of minced garlic. Again, remember, this is not uh, not shrimp scampi. This is shrimp franchise, so you don't want to bury it with uh, too much garlic. It's just for a little flavor. All right. We're going to follow this up now with uh, the white wine. Again, the ingredients uh, quantities are on there. Okay. Keep an eye on the temperature. We like to just keep it at least simmering. All right, we'll get that in there. All right. We're going to follow up now with basil, parsley. That's going to be going in. And basil. You can measure this out if you like. I'm going to be doing it mostly by eye, but the actual ingredient quantities will be on there. Went to the store today looking for fresh Italian basil, and they didn't have any. Mm. So, all right. Come up to simmer a little bit. Give that a little stir. Starting to look edible, haven't you? Yeah, it's delicious. Now we're going to follow this up with uh, shrimp stock. If you don't have shrimp stock, if you don't you know how to make it, you can look it up. You can do it with the shrimp tails, or you can buy shrimp stock, or you can buy fish stock. If you don't want to go that route, you can go with chicken stock. Uh, if you don't want to use chicken stock, you can use water. So, but again, as I mentioned, the more flavor you can add, the better it gets. So, I'm going to throw that in now. I'm going to raise the temperature just a bit, just to keep it uh, simmering. All right. 
let that do its thing for a little bit. So we're going to let that cook down a bit. All right, we've allowed this to cook down a little bit. And now we're going to thicken it up with a little flour. I'm going to guess maybe about, oh, I'm going to say maybe two teaspoons of flour will do it. Give that a little stir. Get that one in there. That'll help thicken up the sauce a bit. And now I'm just simply going to throw in... Wait for me. I'm going to throw in some uh, baby spinach and a couple of uh, sliced... Are they cherry tomatoes? Yeah, they're cherry mm. or whatever those Spanish people call those things. <laughs> All due respect to the Spanish folks. All right, I'm just going to let that uh, wilt down a bit. And while that's wilting down right now, making sure all the flour has been covered over, I'm going to give it a final squeeze of fresh lemon. Okay, that goes in there. And once that looks good, we'll get ready to plate. I made a uh, little order of jasmine rice. You can do this over jasmine rice, over regular rice, over brown rice. Yeah. You can do it over uh, arborio rice. You can do it over pasta, uh, anything, angel hair, regular spaghetti, pen penne, <laughs> whatever you like. Anything. This will go good on anything. So, uh, let me see the easiest way to do this. We're going to bring that dish over here. Just stay there. If you prefer the sauce thicker, just add maybe another half a teaspoon of flour. I think this is going to be yeah. fine for me. All right, I'm going to close the heat. All right, everything's been wilted down, ready to go. I'm going to take this now, and I'm going to first get it over my uh, rice. Like so. Oh, get in there, son. <laughs> I'm so sorry you can't have this. I know. It does really smell very good. Oh. Okay, now I'm just going to pour over the sauce. Like so. We'll move over here. Get a nice look at that. And we're going to take a taste of this. Again, this is uh, shrimp franchise. Let's take a look and see. Shrimp will cook very Perfect. nicely. Yeah. Mm. Seriously, mm -hmm. okay. very good. <laughs> mm. The lemon is excellent. We didn't know we'd do it. Right. Very fortunate with that. Took a little bit of that nice rice, some of those tomatoes. Oh yeah. There you go, get a good look at that, babe. <laughs> All right, so, from the Insecure Chef and his wonderful wife, Regina. Have a wonderful night. Thank you for watching. Please, again, ask your friends and relatives to see what we're up to, see what we're cooking. Leave us a message if you want anything made special. Help us get to that <laughs> 1,000 subscriber. Take care, happy holiday.